Welcome back, guys. So let's continue building out, uh, allowing the user to, or the administrator to add a new food item to the database. This is where we left off in the last lecture. So what I wanna do currently, what I wanna do right now is to, here in the category, right now you see we have some values here but this is not coming in dynamically. I hard coded these values in here. But ideally what I want is I want to, as an administrator, is if I go here to the add category and I add a new category and submit, that category will be stored in the database. And then at that point, when I add a new food item over here, in the categories in the drop down menu there will work uh, an http request will be sent to the database to fetch all the categories that are uh, are currently created inside the database and bring them in here and fill them in within the select uh, statement okay but right now this is not what's happening because it's hard coded as i said um, let's see here in the admin dashboard component. If I go to uh, the show, no, not the show food modal. Okay, right here in this area here, you see, right here the select statement here. I hard coded these values, but again, we wanted to come in dynamically from the database. Okay. So anyways, let's go ahead and knock that out or start work, uh, start working on that. Um, all right, so here I want to add a new category state within the admin dashboard right over here. Okay, so this category state is where when the data is fetched from the, um, from the database, all that data, the categories are gonna, we're gonna store it inside the state called categories. So over here is gonna be called category categories, and then the method to set the categories is, you guessed it, set categories. All right, and then use state, and to start off with, I'm gonna set it to null, okay, by default. Cool. All right, so let's mark this off here. Add categories. All right, next thing I want to do is add a setup a use effect. Okay, these are part of the React hooks. It deals with the lifecycle events. So when the component mounts, immediately I want some stuff to go on immediately after, once the component does mount. So we will be using use effect. And I will bring it in right uh, here. Use effect, and it's part of the React library. All right, cool. So, and then beneath all this this state data, I'm going to actually I'm going to bring this comment here, paste it here, and I'm going to call this life cycle life cycle life cycle life cycle methods yeah All right, cool and then i'm going to bring in the use effect and we know it takes in two arguments so the the second argument is going to be the dependencies uh, right now i'm going to set it to an empty array and then the first argument is going to be a function and for the function, I want to call a method called load categories. Load categories. Okay. And below that, let's go ahead and create that method. Load categories. This will be an asynchronous function. No arguments. And then within here, I want to do call await get categories. This will be a method that we will create momentarily 
that will be the HTTP method that will fetch the, uh, head out to the server and make fetch the categories. Okay, so it's going to be called get categories, and it and because we're going to be using Axios, it will be Axios does use promises, so we're going to be able to attach then and catch over here. But I'll take care of that later. But right now we have. Let's go ahead. The next step is to create a get categories method. And I will be making, as I mentioned, it's going to be stored inside the API folder and also the category file. So I can destructure that right here. Get categories. Even though I haven't created it yet, but might as well do it now so we don't forget um, forget later. So get categories, okay. So now inside our source folder, inside uh, inside the API folder, let's op let's bring out our categories file, and I'm gonna copy this function here and paste it here, and change up some stuff. So this one is gonna be it was called cat categories, right? Get cat get categories. Get categories. We will not be getting any form data from the front end. We don't need this 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 config object because it will be a get request, and we're gonna switch the post to a get method. Still the same route. Um, we're not sending any form data, and we don't need a config. So all we need is the route that we're making this get method to. All right, go cool. and then once that response is re uh, returns back from the server, is going to be stored in this variable called response, and then we're going to return the response back to the function where it, the function was originally called, which was here in the admin dashboard over here. Get categories, okay? All right, cool. So let's see, where do I use effect? Oh, okay. Let me set up use effect. I set that up already and then create the get categories API. And yes, all right, cool. So that was it. Um, that's it for this lecture. Uh, in the next lecture, to continue on, we are going to be arriving to the server side, uh, building, uh, writing out the code for the server side because right now, as I mentioned, this right here, Axios is making the HTTP request to the server. So we'll continue on to the next lecture and finish off, uh, continue on with that process.